Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so just briefly touching on our higher time frame things we're looking for here. So we're looking for the potential that effectively we could have this as our one and a two here. And what we're looking for is the potential that price could then be looking to push to the upside for a bigger third wave. Now this remains valid as long as we stay above this 24,800. And our support zones that we are looking for here is between this 382 and the 786 ideally we have come down deep enough that it could potentially be a very shallow wave too if it does look to reverse however there is still potential to come down deeper here now we were discussing this within you know previous videos we can potentially put this wave one here um, if we want to look at it in this way we would then be saying that this corrective move starts from over here alternatively we could argue that this move completes into this high here, though I don't like the length of the fourth wave, so I am just leaving it here at the moment, looking at this whole move as a bigger corrective mess. Now, if we are looking at this in this way, um, you know, we also need to just be aware that there is our bearish count here where we could still see a bit more downside looking to come in here, saying that we could be setting up for this as a bigger Y wave to the downside here, where our minimum requirement is going to be this 28.419, and then our one to one is down here towards this 26.510. Now, once again, we can potentially move this around um, to this high here or to even this high over here, in which case we'd then be starting a bigger break to the downside from here. So I do like it placed rather into this high here and looking at this as a bigger corrective structure. Now, looking at the bigger corrective structure here, what we are saying is that we could have this as either a bigger a a b and a c if we do continue to get five wave structure to the downside here now typically speaking as a flat correction what we look for is this zone here of this 29.399 to this 28.695 now we have come into this zone already i am on the lookout that you know if we do look to push down here one more time towards this 28.695 going to be keeping an eye on this area to see if we do get a reaction Potentially, we could still see something like this, where this becomes one, two, three, four, and five with an extension in the wave one here. It's not the primary count I'm looking for, but still keeping an eye on that idea, particularly with the fact that this looks like it's developing as a triangle now. This could align with the idea of coming down here one more time towards this 28,695. Now, there are other interpretations of this, which we're going to go over, where you know, if we are looking at this rather as a Y wave, what this could be is that this could be our A wave. We could have this as our B wave, and then we're looking for a C wave to the downside. So we're going to go over those ideas now. Now, within the idea of this being a C wave to the downside, we need to be very careful of the potential of something like this. Now, we'd have to move down towards this 27,059 to confirm this. And what we'd be looking out for here is that either this is our wave one into here, and this is a wave two, or alternatively, we have this as one and two. So the idea would be pretty much the same here. The target doesn't change that much. If we see a bigger five wave move to the downside, now this could either be that this is one, two. We have another one, two here. We get three, four, five, four, and five in that way. Or like I said, this could be potentially one, two here. And then we just see a single five wave move down towards this 27,059. Then we would be getting this, um, aligning with that count where we're looking for a five wave structure to the downside here. So we need to be aware of this. Um, we need to see whether we can continue to hold below these invalidation points. Invalidation of this comes by crossing 30,414. Now, if we are looking at this idea where this is actually another one and a two here, what we are still looking for is the potential that we have this white wave count in play here where this is one, two, and then we're looking for this 27,448 to confirm this current count. Now, we were saying that we could potentially look to break down from where we currently are. We haven't invalidated this idea. We were looking at this invalidation being here at this 29,567. So until we actually break back above this level, we need to just be very careful here because this move could actually be 1212 over here. So because of that fact, we need to just be on the lookout that the problem is I don't really like counting this as a one and a two, and particularly the fact that this one got bigger here than the previous um, lower degree count, it is less likely. But if we do fail to break back above this 29,567 and we start to see price 
looking to break to the downside here in five wave structure this could then align with the idea of this wave three coming into play but we'd have to move down past this zone of this 28,767 now we also need to be aware like I said there is the possibility here that this could actually just be a b and c in which case we could only look to target out the one to one level here between this one to one and this one two three six if this is going to be an abc would be a very common zone to see this move into so if we do see price move down into this twenty eight thousand three hundred fourteen to this twenty seven thousand nine hundred eighty potentially we could look for a reversal from that point where like i said instead of looking at this move then as a bigger a b and a c this could actually just be w x and y so we need to be on the lookout for this idea that if we do just see a single five wave structure down here it could be that this is a a b c pattern here alternatively it could be that we have a five wave move actually from further back here so we're going to discuss this this is something i haven't talked about before um you know it, within this count even if we do cross this 29,567, it is still possible that this wave two is in play for as long as we remain below this 30K region and invalidation of that, like I said, would be this 30,350 up here. So if we fail to actually break above these rejection zones here, we could actually just look to start to fall away directly here. Um, there is also, however, the possibility that this is becoming a bigger corrective structure here where we get this as an A, we get this as a B, and then we're looking for either a five wave move here for a C wave, or we're looking for this possibility that actually instead of this being A, B, and C, that we could argue that this is something like a W, an X, and a Y, but I don't really like the internals here, call this a W wave, but it is still technically possible. Uh, if we do see this develop, we could actually see something like a triangle here and then see the C wave up. One to one target currently is sitting towards us 29,916, which would be quite interesting because it would be bringing us you know, back up into this little area that we have over here. Obviously, lower down here, we also do have this area of this 854 and this 786, which could also align with coming back up into these lows. So, I'm going to be keeping an eye on that zone if we do see price starting to push to the upside here. Potentially, we could still look for rejection here within that corrective move and then see that break to the downside. If we do see something like that play out, we see just a three wave move to the upside and we fail to take this 30,350. The probabilities then still become that, you know, it's more probable we're going to see a move to the downside at that point. So because this move to the upside is looking very corrective, we're going to go over a count where you know, it's a very low confidence count where we could say that we're setting up a series of ones and twos here. But we're going to go over that um, within the video. So just make sure you stay tuned. Now, one thing I want to just talk about here is there is potential that within this structure here, we could actually be forming a triangle. Now, this triangle could potentially even be the other way around, where this is our A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave, and then this is already our E wave, and we start to break down from this point. So if we do start to break down from this point here, one thing I will be looking out for is that idea that what we could have still is that this is one, two, this is three, we have a fourth wave triangle, and then we break to the downside. Even though we have overlap here with our A wave, the end of this triangle would technically not close above this wave one so it would still be valid in this case so if we do see something like this where actually we're looking for this as like i said you know from further back here a bigger a a b and then we're looking for this as a c wave here this would align with having a five wave structure looking to push us down to this 28734 to this 28530 now like i said we got to be careful here though because if we do see this as a b or as as a five wave move to the downside here what we could then see is that you know this could still be that one two situation here and we're starting to extend to the downside particularly if we fail to break back above some of these highs here we need to just be very careful that we don't have some ones and twos nestled in here looking for this as a bigger you know five wave structure looking to develop to the downside so the key thing here is that if we're going to see something like this, this would align with the idea of this being this bigger zigzag here, where we're arguing that this is A, this is B, and then we're looking for a C wave. Now, the one to one would be here at this 28,162. So, still keeping an eye on that level. If we do see price continue to push down here, where we fail to invalidate this triangle here, we could still see price push down one more time. Now, that this target over here would be higher than our one to one. So, I'm actually going to just throw on this. 786 and this 854 as potential target areas here 
So we can see that there is a little bit of an overlap here at that 786 uh, with our target box, which would bring us down towards this 1382 at this 28,656. So if we do see price push down in this way, potentially we could then see this idea of something like a fifth wave here. And what I'd then be looking for would be to see how we react. If we do get something like this as a fist wave to the downside, and this is actually a completed ABC pattern, effectively what we want to see then is five wave structure developing to the upside. If we only get three wave structure to the upside, then we need to start being cautious here because this could actually be looking to break down in a bigger corrective pattern. Um, so we need to just see how we react here. At the moment, I am still anticipating one more drop to the downside here. It's going to be key what happens after that idea. Now, within the other potentials that we talked about in previous videos, this still hasn't invalidated. The problem is that if we're looking at this as a potential C wave in this way, Effectively, it's starting to get quite large in comparison to this A wave here. It is all right still within the comparison to the B wave here, but I'm just being mindful that, you know, this is uh, starting to look less likely as time goes on here, particularly within this smaller case here where we're saying we could get this as a bigger B wave here and then that continuation down. So this idea is starting to look less likely, though. We could still see something like this. We're going to go over that. What we need to just also bear in mind here is this other idea here that if we do have this rather as a bigger A, this is A, B, and C. We're still okay within time parameters here. And if we do continue to hold these lows and start to see price setting up for uh, additional ones and twos here, potentially this could still align with this idea of having a push up here towards this zone of this 32,323 to this 31,512. Now, this is not my most um, likely count at this point, but it is still something that I'm just keeping an eye on because we are holding these lows currently. Now, these could always roll over like we just discussed, but um, we need to just be aware that it is still possible we could see some upside. Now, if we are looking for that idea of actually seeing some upside play out here, what we were talking about in the previous video is we we're saying, okay, well, we could potentially argue that this is an A wave here, or this is a wave one, and then we're looking for a wave two, and then we're looking for a five wave move to the upside. We're saying that if this is A, B, and C, effectively what we'd be looking for here would be this 29,918. And then if we wanted to confirm a bigger impulse of structure here, what we were saying is that we want to see this develop as one, two, three, up towards us 30,445 for that confirmation that we have a third wave. Now, it is possible that we could still see this develop. The problem is it wouldn't be in this way because we've come down too deep here. So what we're saying is that this could be one, two, three, and then we were looking for our fourth wave. We said we couldn't cross this wave one, and we've actually come down and done just that. Now, if we are looking at this idea of this extending out here, there is still possibility that this could be in play where actually we have this as another one two in here now the problem with this is first off the internal structure here would be if you want to count this as a five wave move would be saying that we actually had extension in the fifth wave which is not the most common wave to extend but it is still possible and what we would then be looking for is something along these lines now this would be invalidated quite clearly here at this 29,194 where if we were saying that this is a one and a two here, where this becomes one, we have this as two, and then we're going to look for a push to the upside here. What we'd then be looking for is that potentially we have a five wave move in here, something like this. And then we'd be looking for that potential of a three wave move to the downside. Now, the problem that I have with this, particularly if we come into this smaller time frame here, is this move is starting to look like it could be an impulse that is extending out. Now, if this is an impulsive structure here, effectively, this would make this move less likely. And what we would be saying is that this could be one, two, this would be one, two, three, four, five, four. And then we're looking for a fifth wave. Now, if we get a five wave move down like this, unless this move starts further back here, where we have something like this as A, B and C, then it is less likely that this is going to see that continuation up. If, however, we start to reverse to the upside in a bigger way, there's two key areas that I'm going to be watching out for here. 29,614 and this area here, this 29,876. If we do see price starting to push to the upside here, where we see this 29,876, potentially then we could be looking for a five wave move in this way. Like I said, this is not the most likely option in my opinion, but it is technically still viable for as long as we hold these lows here, particularly these ones here, this 29,124. 
is going to be a key level. If we saw price do something like this, where we see just a slight break of this move, but we don't actually cross this low, this idea could technically still be alive. But the thing is then, you know, if we look at the size of the waves twos, it would be less likely that this is playing out because what we want to see typically when we're looking at an impasse is we want to see this wave one develop, the, this wave two develop, this wave one develop, this wave two to be smaller than the previous wave because the previous wave is a higher degree. Now, what we'd want to see here effectively, like I said, would be strong impulsive movements to the upside looking to target out this 29876 if this is the case. And then that would tie into the idea that, you know, from further back here, we have this as another one, two, and this would mean that this yellow count actually pushes to the upside here and we have something along these lines where effectively the yellow count is looking to extend out here. Now if we do see something along these lines, the problem is we'd still have to push up towards 30,445. Even if we do see a, another five wave move to the upside here, if we fail to achieve this 1618, this could actually mean that we still just see price drop off from that point where this becomes A, this becomes B and we get the C wave to the upside and that would just all come back to aligning with the idea here that, you know, within this bigger breakdown here, we could still just be within this wave two area. So unless we actually see, you know, clean five wave structure to the upside here, pushing up towards that key zone that we mentioned here, 30,445, the most likely scenario is still looking to be to the downside now. So this is why we're going to be watching Particularly what happens now, I want to see if this actually is a triangle. This is going to be something I'm just watching. If we do see something like this, where effectively what we have is this is A, B, C, D, and E. And then we actually look to reverse to the upside here and break back above this 29,690. This would then confirm the idea that this could be A, B, and then add that C wave to the upside. Now, that would be looking for then that possibility of seeing a move up towards this 29,916 as a possible target. If we do look to extend up higher here, we do have the 1236 sitting here towards us 30,116. And we also have the 1382 up here towards us 30,241. So that would be some upside targets if this is a triangle. If however this triangle is the other way around, like I said, you know, potentially we could still look at this the other way and say that we had a complex A wave B wave was simple, C wave was simple, D wave was simple, E wave was simple, and we start to break down from this level and we look to break down past this 29,083, then it becomes more likely here that this is either a B wave, in which case what we'd then be looking for would be the idea that within this structure we could see a one-to-one -one move down towards this 28,234, alternatively if we do look to push down in a five wave move from this point we also need to be on the lookout for this target area here where this 28,734 to this 28,530 would actually be our fifth wave target and that would be looking at this as one two three four and five now that would then be enough to potentially complete this move and we'd have to see how we react with all these said and done we need to just be mindful that there is that more bearish count here where we could still look for a break to the downside in a bigger way so if we fail to uh, develop this move to the upside afterwards so for instance if we get this as a three wave move to the downside like this i'd still be very cautious here um, until we start breaking back above these highs because this could just actually be extending out and then potentially instead of this being a b and c here this could be one two and then we get one two one two three four five and we think that that's a triangle, then we get another fourth and a fifth, then we get another fourth and a fifth, and this just continues to push down. So that's what we need to be very careful of within uh, this bigger count here. So having a look at the daily CPR lines here, what we can see is that we do have a bit of an overlapping on the CPR printed here. The initial bias from this would be a moderately bullish bias, but we need to see price actually confirm this. Now we can also see that these are very tightly drawn here. Now this could actually mean that we could see price look to experience some volatility today so if we do see price fail to break back above these central lines potential targets to the downside would be this previous daily low sitting at this 29,123 and this 29,106 if we did see a move down in this way 
this could potentially still look to find support here and we could see price look to react to the upside. If, however, we start to lose these levels, other downside targets for today would be this 28,906. We have this 28,694 and this level here of this 28,488 is potential downside target. So that would actually align with a bit of a sell off here, looking for that possibility of a fifth wave. If we do look to actually either in this situation, have a bit of a push to the downside, find support here on these lines, or alternatively fail to actually reach these lines and rather push to the upside. I will be keeping an eye on these higher levels here. Like I said, we need to get back above these central lines, but we do have potential to move up here towards this 29,528 as a R1 line. We do also have our daily previous daily high sitting up here towards us 29,541. If we are looking for a trending move, what we want to see is price breaking back above these CPR lines, this um, R1 line, and looking to find support here before continuation to the upside. If that does look to play out, what we do have here is potential to move up to this 29,744. We have this 29,946 and this 30,159 as possible upside targets for today. Looking at the weekly CPR lines here, what we can see is that we are still currently sitting between our S1 and our S2 line. I'm going to be looking at these two levels as potential supported resistance. So if we do move to the downside, potentially this 29,096 could offer us support if we do see price move down into the zone. Alternatively, if we do see price move to the upside here, we could potentially look to find resistance again at this 29,595. So if we do see price move up here and we fail to break back above this level, we could then potentially be looking at that possibility of that extension down. If we do however see a bit of a bigger move to the upside here like i said potentially looking at this as a bigger corrective pattern to the upside I'm going to be keeping an eye on these central lines at this 30,042 to this 29,965 as potential rejection zones if we do see price push to the upside here and get back above these levels what we could see as upside targets for this week is this 30,500 we have this 30,910 and this 31,404 now, if we do start to lose these lines, what we could actually see is price could still be gravitated towards this 28,688 as a possible target area here before looking for some kind of a trend continuation or a move back to the upside. Now, price can always look to move through these zones, so we need to be aware of that. Now, looking at the monthly, what we can see is that we are still currently sitting between our top pivot line and our central pivot line here. So if we do continue to see price move to the downside here, we could still possibly find support here if we do move back down towards this 28,894. And then we could, you know, see some kind of a reaction off here. If we lose this level, effectively, we could see price move back down to this lower CPR line here at this 28,116. And then we also do have lower targets here of this 26,367. But we don't have a lot of time left for this month so you know we could potentially just actually stay within this range even upside targets if we do manage to take this top line here is still sitting up here at this 33k level so we'll have to just see um whether we can actually manage to do any of these lower target levels or whether we just actually consolidate between this level here for the rest of this month Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.